Hi, Sheldon from Fretje. We're at Sage 2016 and we're sitting with Grant from Fish Here Custom Guitars. Hi there, how's it going? Grant, how is Sage treating you this year? It's very, very good. Last year was awesome. This year's going to be way, way better. It's really, really picked up. Do you, do you think the, the quality of the exhibitors, everybody, everybody has stepped up their game this year? By far, yeah. They've really, really come to the party, yeah. It's much, much bigger. Probably double the size this year. That's really cool. Tell me, I see a lot more guitars than I saw last year, which are, which are nice, and I'm seeing stuff under the table here. Tell us a little bit more about what's new in your mind, where you're going these days. What I'm doing now is that I'm going more organic. I'm so less paint. There's most guitars are too, uh, way too much paint on them. So we're trying to keep it more raw, more organic. It's better for the tone and, uh, and also the feel. So we, we're cutting down on all the, all the glossy nonsense. You can still have it if you want it, but you know, it's like the tone is better. So it's all about the finish and not, not trying to hide any of the woods, like one piece bodies. So we, we're not, we don't have to cover it with paint and hide anything. So it's pretty cool. Be proud of it. That's really cool. Uh, the one thing that you're, you're renowned for is your, your remarkable setups and, and a lot of importers actually use you for that. Um, do, do you find that, that a setup can either make or break a guitar? Big time. Uh, the, the biggest thing is, is that a lot of times if the guitars are not put together properly, if the angles, the neck angles and the pockets and the stuff's not correct, you, it, it, you cannot set the guitar properly. It, 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 it won't allow you to get the, the right angles and the right adjustments. So a lot of the times, if the, if the manufacturer hasn't got the, the angles correct, you, you can't do it as well as you would like to have done it. So it's up to the builder. And even the big brands kind of mess it up. So it's, 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 it's not always up to the guy setting up the guitar. It's, it's the manufacturers. That's really, it's interesting. Um, tell me quickly, woods you like to use, is it, is it the, the standard stock stuff or do you actually go out and, and pick woods by hand? A lot of the classic stuff, the thing is you, you can't, re, don't, don't try to re, re, reinvent the wheel. So you want to keep, like for strats and tellies, older is a great, or ash for tellies. Um, strats, you want to go old, uh, older, it's, it's warm, so because the strats are whitish guitar. So you've got to be careful on what you select, also the type of music you're playing. So you choose the woods and also the pickup. So you'd sit, we'd, we'd sit down if you, wanted, if you had to order a guitar and you would choose pickups, uh, woods and stuff like that according to the style of music you're going to play to complement it. You, you know, there's no such thing as, as one set rule. There's, things change. Your pickups can be hotter or you can want vintage sound pickups which, we, which, which are a lot of lower output but on vintage than what the high gain stuff is, the more modern sound. So, but the old classic stuff just doesn't die. It, it's been around forever and it's always going to be there, you know. A good old Strat Tilly and a Les Paul, it's been around forever and it's, it's not going to end. It's not, it's not coming to an end at all, you know. And guys, you know, you, you can try and, and reinvent the wheel and fine tune things and, you know, a little bit here and there, but don't try to change too much because then you get further away from, from the tone and you start losing it. All right, you, you, you mentioned changing it and tweaking things. There's something that I, that I see a lot in, in, in your guitars. Tell us about the, the neck wood you've got on this guitar. Okay, this is a new thing I'm going for as well now. I'm going for roasted maple necks. Um, the necks are put into an oven and they get, they get baked and they cook out all the impurities and the moisture out of the wood. So the wood doesn't warp and twist like other necks would sometimes do. Uh, they're very stable. It doesn't have to be painted, so it's very raw. And smooth, it's got that nice feel. It doesn't get sticky, and it's better for tone. So there's a lot of nice features about the the, the roasted maple necks, um, stainless steel frets, uh, locking machine heads. The Wilkinson trims are extremely good for tuning, and, and they're so stable. You set them up and they stay. They stay like a lot of a lot of bridges. You can set them up, and after two or three weeks, they start to move and the saddles and you know, it's, 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 it's quite nasty. A very important thing about the guitars as well is that on the strats, anything with a, with a back cover, it's important not to put a cover on the guitar. It changes the sound. It, makes, it, it takes away tone. So you want to leave the cover off the back. If you look at the John Mayer and Eric Johnson, I mean, those are tone freaks, especially Eric Johnson, you'll see the guitars come with art covers on it. There's no holes, no, no, you know, straight onto the, onto the wood. So it, we, you can't go out and buy a Frischia stock back plate for a strat? No. No, if you want, if you can order it. <laughs> you can now listen, whatever you want. But does, we always try and guide you, and try and give you the best advice and honest advice.
that's really cool. I told you I'm going to ask you one question that you can't prepare for. Um, what is your favorite recorded sound ever? Any sound? Uh, Nuno Bettencourt's Porn Graffiti. The, the album is unbelievable. And Nuno, he's just killer, killer guitar player, great tone. Uh, it's awesome. Awesome player. Absolutely fantastic. I hope you have a, a, a great Sage. I'm not going to keep you. As you see in the back, there's a lot of customers waiting for your attention. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. And uh, awesome. Cool. To find out more about, about um, for Share Guitars, you can go to fret.coza and um, have a great Sage, everyone. Thanks a lot, eh? Awesome. Take care. Thanks.